This playthrough is rated M for Mature. It's time to find out how dysfunctional the Birkin family really is. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Well, we're back here with another episode of Resident Evil 2. In the last episode, we finished going through the rest of the uh, the police station, chased after Mr. X, and got behind Chief Iron's like uh, little dungeon area. Yeah, it is. It's almost like a medieval dungeon. Look at this place. Now I don't feel so bad for the guy getting ripped apart. Look at all the freaked up crap he did. Let's see, formalin, chloroform, and other chemicals. Chloroform? And then look at this saw here. It's a saw. Fresh blood is smeared on the blade. I, I assume he used that to probably cut up the mayor's daughter's body and hide it or something like that. Because we never find out what happened to her after he told him what happened to her. Like, after he said, oh, that's the mayor's daughter. I'm like, oh, dear. Uh, anyway, we got some acid rounds here and uh, uh, disturbing stuff indeed. So... Yeah, now I don't feel so bad, Virkin, for you getting ripped apart, but yeah, we're going to have to go in there and face whatever whatever ripped him apart, so let's do it. Ladder leads down, let's go down. Oh, it ripped apart him pretty easily. Will it be able to rip us apart? I don't know. We're just a 21-year-old uh, biker chick, well, whatever, you know. That's the worst, worst weapon imaginable. A man with a pipe. Oh, God. Yeah, it's Burka with a pipe. He's a, it's actually does quite a decent amount of damage. But uh, if we sh hit him with, like, about, I think it's about seven acid rounds. I think that's it. Yeah. <laughs> we can finish him off. So about six or seven. Bye. <laughs> nah, not coming for me. Yeah, we used about. Yeah, I used about six, so that's about re reasonable. If you use an acid round, you could use a gun, but it takes quite a bit of bullets. Now, we can continue forward for a bit, but after a point, the game goes, I need to go back for Sherry. So let's go check on Sherry and see how she's doing. And yeah, but Iron's body is going to be there for the rest of the game if you keep going back. So let's go tell Sherry the good news that we, uh, you know, threw her father over the edge, although she doesn't know. Actually, I don't even know at this point Claire knows. We know as the player, but especially if you played Leon's a path but uh let's just pretend otherwise actually we might be at the point of the game where now i can finally drop the regular pistol and just use the grenade rounds and keep those on me at all times we'll see what happens because at some point i'm gonna have to i don't really need to use the gun and we've got plenty of grenade a ammo at this point claire you came back i can't believe the man who developed the g-virus is actually her father What's wrong, Claire? It's nothing. But I think I found a way out of here. We should be able to find some place safe if we can just make it out of town. But... Don't worry, I'll protect you. I promise. But you have to make sure you don't leave my side. Yeah, well, alright. Yeah, we'll just... This... I mean, we did save her a couple times, so she could trust us, but it's like... Wasn't she looking for her mom and dad? Well, her dad just fell overboard. And then who knows where Annette is at this time in the plot. I think she's about to confront Leon and Ada, I think. Or Ada. She's about to confront Ada not too far off, I think, if I recall. The problem with the, problem with the B path is that it kind of mixes in stuff from the A and B, so the timing is a bit weird. So you kind of just have to formulate, like, or guess, like, when stuff would actually occur. I don't remember what the canon version of the events are if it's Leon goes to the department or or if he has to fight Mr. Mr. X. I when I when I first played the game, I always did Leon first and then Claire just because that's how the discs were in the the uh when you buy the game. Uh anyway, we go over here and press a button to release the switch. Um so I'm not sure that's how I always felt was the canon, but it could be the other. I I think I find it f more interesting that Claire is the one who has to fight Mr. X the whole time instead of Leon, but which is basically what happens then on his path, but anyway, let's head down this way. Come on, let's get out of here.
Best plan ever, Claire. Run! Boots of escaping! <laughs> I, I assume Mr. X didn't see you. Sherry? Where are you? Sherry! Oh good, the game got rid of the escort quest. <laughs> nah, but yeah, she gets sucked up into the floodgate. The floodgate is open. Where did it put her? Well, let's go, let's go see. We can actually ignore where she actually drops out at, but I want to show you, like, just for game purposes. Ooh, we got some blue herbs, even though I, I'll probably never use those <laughs> at this point, because I think I can avoid the rest of the stuff in the game that poisons you, but we'll grab it anyway for completion's sake. And then I got a bit of OCD anyway, so. But I do like the fact that, well, I'll show you when we actually find it, but uh, ooh, we find a rest area. Let's, uh, Sport. Let's see. Do I need to drop stuff up? Yes. Okay. So let's check this locker here. Get some first aid spray. And then it's an old locker. It's an old typewriter. If I had an ink ribbon, I could save my progress. Well, we can, but I'm not going to. Because. All right. Let's grab that. Now let's check around before we head on. A device to regulate the quality of sewage water. Quality of sewage water. It's sewage. Sewage manager, manager facts. User list of the connected facility. On the first and third Wednesday of the month, Angelica Margaret, chief of maintenance, will make use of the facilities. Be sure to reduce the moisture level, levels in the facility by activating the fan, as the equipment she will be using is susceptible to the effects of water vapors. Ah, give me the vapors. On the 28th of every month, the chemical transporter, Don Weller, will use the facility. The chemicals he will be transporting are extremely volatile. Extreme caution should be observed throughout their transport. What, like a nitroglycerin, like in the remake of Resident Evil 1? On the 6th and 16th of every month, Police Chief Brian Irons will visit the facility to attend the regular meetings that take place in the lab. On the 4th Friday of every other month, William Birkin will be used use the facility to conduct a training seminar for the Chicago branch of Umbrella Inc. As the pro probability of an attack upon Dr. Birkin will be high, take every measure conceivable to guard his life. Well, we know now know the ties between Irons and well, we know knew the ties between Irons and Birkins from before. But the his office goes directly to this facility, so it's like, man, this place is weird. Uh, you will be informed of all other potential visitors and the times that they will arrive as needed. Guide these individuals to their destination safely. We expect nothing but the best from you, Charles Coleman, Secretary Chief of the Umbrella Headquarters. I don't think we ever we only hear that name, but I don't think we ever run into or hear much about that secretary guy later on in the game, so let me drop some stuff off and I'll show you where uh, Sherry was most likely dropped off at. But uh, it takes her out of the inventory for a while. Now let me dump these blue herbs off. Um, I'll keep the gun a little bit longer, but I could probably, actually I could probably drop the uh, uh, grenade launcher for a little while. Let's see. We'll probably end up using the rest of my, uh, <clears throat> the rest of the, uh, gun by this point. Or, rest of the ammo. So, alright. The warehouse door is locked. Will you use the lockpick? Yes. I will use the lockpick. Good, good door. Alright, it looks like we're in a storage area. Let's see, there should be something over here. Some bolts. Let's grab those. Alright, nothing there. There is, a, there actually is a zombie in here. <laughs> we actually don't need to interact with him at all. Uh, take the grenade lens. We'll take those. Thank you. And uh, let's see. Oh, there's a place where Sherry can pop out at. Let's see if we can avoid this guy completely. Yep, we don't. There's nothing to really. Oh wait, there is something to examine. I'll show it off here in a second. But it's nothing major. And we can ex we can completely skip this door. There's like no reason to go in this room at all, other than to guess that this is where Sherry fell into, as you can see here. But we never run across her. And then she probably went through that little side area where the zombie was. She probably snuck into that. That's probably where she moved to. So I like the. It is kind of nice in the design that that's there, even though we never use it. We now know what Sherry's path probably was to her next destination. Various cords and meters are placed in order. That, that's pretty much it. Nothing else to explore here. So let's go back up. The only reason I went down there was to grab the bolts and the grenade launcher or ammo. So. Let me grab drop this off, drop these off, 
And let me grab the valve. We're gonna need that. There. Now let's uh, go save. Sh let's go save Sherry, or find Sherry anyway. So. What happened? You're bleeding. I, I, I ran into this woman who is in trouble. Her name's Ada. Right after that, someone tried to kill me. Nearly succeeded, too. Ada went after the sniper, but I, I'm worried about her. You gotta find her before, before something happens. But you've been shot. I'll be okay. It's Ada I'm worried about. So this will happen off screen that uh I'll be okay. It's Ada I'm worried about. Cause remember Leon passed out after getting shot and Ada chased after the after the gunman. Can we actually go back on this thing? Oh, we can. Even though we don't need to. But yeah, that that I, apparently Ada ran into Claire. We never knew that, but uh Oh yeah, we go into their safe room. Though we could, we could completely ignore this if we wanted to. But uh, now we get some more bullets. Sure, I'll take those. Oh, and we get some herbs. I actually have plenty of healing for the rest of the game. I probably could do with the rest of it and be fine. So let's see. No. Oop, oh, there's a third one there. Wait, how did I miss that? Huh. All right, I'll grab those. I'll take all the herb. I'll take all the herb you can get. I'm not going into some distillery to buy herbs. I'm getting them from Reg Resident Evil. Where's the? Oh, can we actually go all the way back? Oh wow, we can. I wasn't actually gonna do this, but I'm kind of curious now how far, how far we can go back. Oh, zombies. Where is? Actually, do I even have the map for this? Huh. Uh oh. <laughs> Yeah, they can throw up on this. Actually, since I'm going to get rid of the... Stop using the pistol here pretty soon anyway. Might as well just blast him and finish him off. Yeah. I actually kind of like seeing her reload. Oh, wow, there's quite a few zombies in there. I like how they... I like how the zombies float. Almost like they're in the Dead Sea or something like that. How far can we go back to Leon's path? Hmm. Oh, wow. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't realize uh, we could just go all the way back to whatever Leon was doing. I know you can't really do that. Well, actually, I never did that on Leon's path. I never did go check and see where if we could go through where Claire's elevator I'll, although I think it says something like it doesn't work at the time oh yeah we go all the way back here huh Cause I don't, we never even go into this room and, and uh, Claire's B path so I'm surprised the game lets us I'm surprised the game just doesn't go hey you don't actually need to go this way so oh wait no I think no, yeah, we don't go this way at all. <laughs> I wonder what items we get during this during this run. Oh, yeah, there's a blue herb. I'm not going to grab that because that's pointless. <laughs> Neat. I guess I could have done this off screen just to see, like, how far we go back, you know. I know this is going to add, like, a lot of extra stuff to my time. Oh, right. Spiders. Okay, I think we're done. <laughs> I don't need to grab anything else. No, it's not. It's not the spiders. I just didn't want to waste my, um, like having to heal on on spiders and everything like that. But uh, huh. So all right, now that we're done messing around, let's actually get back to the plot. I I probably should just ignore that, but I'm gonna show you that the game does allow you to go back through Leon's path. I mean, I don't know if I missed anything, like, but not if I did miss anything. It was maybe some ammo, but we've got plenty of ammo for the rest of the game, so. Let's head on to the where we were actually supposed to go this time instead of, you know, gallivanting all the way back. So. Wasting all that ammo there. But we did get that ammo from going back into that one room, so. 
Although, actually, I think that room with the spires, I think that's the farthest we could have gone because on Claire's B path, we can't go, we can't go much further because of the uh, manhole um, is blocked on a, on that path. So that's probably would have been the last room we could have gone to because I think after you climb up, that takes you there. So let's go back this way and chase after Ada. The sewer map, we'll take that. All right, we'll take, you just stay there, Leanne. Hopefully no zombies come and get you. Ah, I remember this place from uh, Leon's path. Yeah, we're in the sewer area. Can't go up there with the ladder because the fan's uh, working right now. So let's check here. Oh, we get a wolf metal. All right, let's grab that. Oh, yeah, I forgot to combine all this stuff. So oh, I'm go combine that, that. And what do we got here? Yeah, this is where this is where the um, umbrella core members at the fir when you first start the game you don't know what those dudes are, but there's a cutscene later on that tells us that basically that's the umbrella secure. Oh, more spooters! But anyway, we can ignore them really easily actually. And there's no reason to fight them because uh, after a certain point the the room transitions to a new enemy after a certain event, so th th it's like no point wasting your ammo on these guys. These guys are so easy to avoid. It's kind of ridiculous actually. Okay, let's go to this thing here. Oops. Maybe I'm not going to turn far enough. There we go. Yeah, there's a little spot here to put the emblems, which... Oh, God, I got hit. Eh. I knew I was going to take damage eventually, but... I was hoping it wasn't going to be from that, but oh well. All the, did, all the spider did was just try to hump me. I mean, I know Claire's hot and everything, but, you know... Are you all right? What happened? Get away from me. You just want my husband's G sample, don't you? But no one will take that away from me. No one. Husband? Then you must be Annette. Huh? How did you? We don't have time for that. Sherry is lost somewhere in the sewer system. I have to find her. What? I told her to go to the police building. Why is she here? Now Sherry and the G sample are both in danger. Uh. What did she mean by that? Does Sherry have the G sample? She's been keeping away from us, that little snoot. No, um, now we don't need the blue herbs. Yeah, infinite blue herbs there. Huh, Annette Birkin. Yeah, this is after Ada knocked her into the water. Annette is unconscious. That's how you spell Annette. Isn't it A-N-N-E-T-T -T or something like that? Nah, whatever. An oil pressure regular and an oil tank. All right, so let's use the um, let's use the valve handle here. We'll have to use it two more times, and that'll be it for the rest of the game on the valve handle. So. I think it's funny that we don't need to help her. We just leave her unconscious body that just sitting there. <laughs> it's just like, yeah, she'll be fine. No zombies around, right? No. Okay. Ooh, more fire. Fire um, flame rounds. All right. Let's grab those. And a ink ribbon. I'll grab that here in a second because I want to combine these more herbs together. Actually, I need to use those herbs I got anyway because I'm, I'm pretty much in danger mode at this point. So better just to use them get out of the way. Yeah, I got quite a few flame rounds. We'll probably be good on those for the rest of the game, too. Alright, let's use... Let's use this. Again. And everything in its place, as it should be. Alright, let's... Grab that, even though I don't need to. I can't help it. Anything else in here? Nope. Okay. Yeah, let's just leave Sherry's mom behind in the previous room. Not even take her with us or put her in a safe area. So, Okay, so interesting thing about this area here is if, for some reason, if you never killed the uh, alligator as Leon, uh, I think it's, or is the crocodile? I think it's alligator in this case. Um, he would actually be here and we'd have to actually encounter him this time, but because... In the Leon playthrough, I beat the I beat the uh, 
I beat the alligator, so we never have to actually encounter him here. But yeah, that's why this whole area is still here. It's just, it's possible to fight him again. Looks like all the city's trash has been dumped here, so. Now I've always, I've always destroyed the alligator every time I played, so I have no idea how you're actually supposed to not encounter the alligator, but I know it from reading on stuff, I know you can actually encounter him here on the second playthrough. Maybe if I do the Claire Path A and Leon Path B version, I'll try to do the alternate um, variations on the on that so I can show you like the differences. But for now, that's just how it is. So, All right, let's use the valve one more time so we can actually go through this. Yeah, we drop off the fan, so. Okay. Goody, goody. All right, drop that off. All right, let's check up here. And I, th I think this is where we found the metal last time, which I don't even know how that works because Leon's already been through here. Well, actually, yeah, Leon would have already gotten to this point, even though we're chasing after Ada. It, uh, it's complicated. Anyway, let's take the Eagle Metal. And what's this? Sewer Management Diary. June 28th. It's been a while, but I saw Don today, and we talked after completing our work. He told me he had been sick in bed until yesterday. It really doesn't come as much as a surprise, given how long we've been working here. He was sweating like a horse and kept scratching his body while we were talking. I asked if he was hot, but <laughs> he just looked at me funny. Because, you know, he, anyway. What's wrong with him, anyway? Ju July 7th. Chief Irons has been visiting the lab quite often lately. I don't know what he's doing over here, there, but he always looks grim. The expression on his face has been even more unsettling than usual. My guess is that's because of Miss Dr. Birkin's impossible request. The chief has my sympathies, though. After all he's done for the town, he doesn't deserve this. No. Screw him. Anyway, July 21st. I rarely, I rarely drink because I'm on the graveyard shift, but I don't suppose I have much to complain about since this is how I make my living. August 16th. Chief Irons came in late today, looking grimmer than his usual self. I tried to joke with him to cheer him up, but he wasn't amused. He pulled his gun and threatened to shoot me. I was able to calm him down, but that guy must have some serious problems. He knows he can't enter the lab without my help and my metal, which is what it means. This is what it means for the chief to serve and protect. August 21st. William informed me that the police and media have begun their investigation on Umbrella's affairs. He said that the investigation will be citywide and that there is a possibility they'll even search through the sewers. He asked me to suspend all Umbrella sewer facility operations until the investigation is concluded. The sewer will be still be used for passage, but he stressed that I have to be extremely cautious and that, and that I'd lose my job if anyone finds out about the operation. Hmm. Well, we don't want him to find out. Well, I guess he did because that's his body right there. The corpse of a sewer maintenance worker. At least I assume that's him. So, All right. On to the next area. Okay. Yep. Let's go back up. So now we can go into that one area with back to, with the spooters and drop this guy off. So, ugh, cockroaches. I think they actually do attack you if you just stand there, I think. But they don't do a ton of damage, but no point in, no point in getting excess damage on us now, do we? All right, let me drop off that valve now that we don't need that anymore. I probably could continue on because there is a... Uh, um, a box not too far ahead, but I'd rather just clean up my inventory. Hey, Leon, guess what? What the? He's gone. Yeah, he disappears. So, which I, it's assumed that Leon or Leon got up after talking to Claire to chase after Ada too, and then, and yet somehow we never run into each other again until like the the end of the game because I think that's the last time we interact till the final scene or whatever. So, all right, let's drop the valve off. Healing. Let's see you. Um, I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna drop off the grenade. I'll just I'll grab the grenade launcher stuff again later. But for now, I'm just gonna leave it as is. Because I'm gonna utilize the rest of the pistol bullets, and then we'll, and then well, I'll drop the gun for the rest of the game. Because if if I if things plan out as they should, I won't I won't need the pistol anymore. So, oh wait, did I? Yeah. Okay. For a second, I thought I took off the metal. I was like, wait, what? Why did I do that? You know. I need it. I need the medal. I want to win the Olympic gold, man. I don't even think I had, ever had aspirations to go to the Olympics. I know some people do, but I was like, no. <laughs> Alright, anyway. Oh, what's with all these bodies? Uh-oh. Yeah, we can run past them. No more spiders. Well, at least in this room, anyway. And no, uh, the zombies don't have anything interesting on them. Alright, let's go in here. Ah, spiders. Ah, cobras. Oh, wait, that's my thing. Alright, let's uh, 
Oh, did, he, did they actually hit me? It looks like it kind of looks like they hit me. Oh, it stopped in mid mid squirk, squirch or whatever. Let's see if I can. Oh, it hit me. Oh, come on, man. Oh, uh, crap. Um, oops. I can't believe it. He hit just at the right moment to poison me. Are you kidding me, game? Um, I have to go back because I think if I go into that one room, I think the blue herbs are like right there. Oh, man. You lucky son of a... <laughs> I can't believe that. Luckily, I'm not too much on damage. And, and poison doesn't... Poison hurts you, but it doesn't like immediately drain your HP like to a ridiculous amount. So, But it does if you leave it. So. <laughs> I can't believe... He got a good hit on me. Oh, lucky shot. Oh, look, we were right next to the blue herb. See, I don't even need those loose blue herbs I had, because I think that's the final thing that poisons me. Because I don't remember, I don't think the plant things in the um, uh, in the final laboratory can poison you. At least I don't remember. And if they can, I've got three blue herbs or something like that, so plenty. And I wonder what made that noise from earlier, though, so. Oh. Uh, I don't think there was anything over there, was there? Nope. Okay. Hey, it's the underground railway right there. Leon must have just been here. Yeah, I guess Leon and Ada must have just dealt with, uh, with, uh, I, it's assumed Birkin's chasing them at that, at that point. Sherry, you're okay. Sherry, did your mom give you something called G virus? Either a vial or a test tube? G virus? I've never heard of anything like that before. Are you absolutely sure? If you give it to me, I'll hold on to it for safekeeping. But I really don't have anything. It's the truth. But why would her mom say something like that? Oh, good. The escort quest is back. I mean, yay, Sherry's good. All right. Anyway, let's keep. Uh, let's go on back on the train, Sherry. Yeah, Sherry. If you run too far away from her because of her short legs. Uh, she'll, if you run too far away from a certain point, she'll stay in place and ball up. And so you can't do anything until she, until you get back to her. So it's kind of annoying, actually. Luckily, we don't have her for too long to worry about that, but it's still kind of annoying. So, And last time we were here, we could shoot off the flare gun, which you can still do that. However, we know where the, we know where the key is, so we don't need to do that. So, yay. <laughs> we don't have to put that ignition thing in my, in my inventory. <sighs> Jerry. I'm not that fast, jeez. Yeah, it's uh, uh, when you play as her, you can tell that she has a very, and if if she does that and you try to enter a door, uh, Claire goes, I gotta go back for Sherry, and you're like, no. All right, where is? Okay, let's finish these guys up. And we just shoot Sherry because she ran, uh, uh, wait, ran front. It was like an idiot. Okay. Ah, no. Hey, all right. Got lucky there. All right, let's grab whatever the zombie had. I think on Leon's path, there was a shotgun, but for us, we get the spark shot. Holy crap. Man, Claire gets all the cool guns, apparently, unlike uh, Leon. I mean, Leon does get the Magnum, so maybe that means he automatically wins, but uh, uh, I'm not going to show up the spark shot right yet. I will soon. It is a fantastic weapon to use. Well, okay, maybe not the best weapon to use, but it's awesome just for the purposes of just cool points so but i'll show it off i'll probably show it off in the finale um because of what it is but for now all right and if i run out of bullets i've always got that spark shot so I can use on, on these guys we're almost out of bullets I was about to say this will probably be the final. Alright. See, that takes us. Oh, right. Okay. Do I have enough for Yeah, I should be able to. 
Although there is a safe box like right ahead, so. And a green herb. And a blue herb. All right. And we'll drop the spark shot for now because I don't need it. But like I said, oh, thank you, sure. Come on, sure. Come on. Come on. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. Good boy. Good boy. I mean, good girl. Good girl. Oh, man. I don't hate Cherry that much, but it is kind of annoying. I've, I've never been a fan of Escort Quest in any game. Sherry, wait here. I'm going to check it out by myself. Okay, I'll wait here, but hurry back. Um, although, in Resident Evil 4, it, they didn't do too bad of a job on Escort Quest, although I still found it annoying in that game. Uh, let's see. Okay, let's... Drop this off. We do need to do need the rocket launch. Well, we don't need it, but I want it. So, all right, we'll do that. Drop off the pistol and ammo. Actually, I'll probably just use the grenade launchers for the rest of the game. So let's oops, put that in my inventory. Oops. And where's the grenade launcher? Yeah, we'll use that. I think. Yeah, I think so. Okay, cool. Oh yeah, there is some ammo like right over there. So let me go ahead and combine. Since I'm probably gonna end up using like acid rounds and flame rounds for the rest of the game, so I want to use up all the grenade ammo I, ha I have. Man, this game gives you a lot of grenade like launcher ammo for Claire. I, s I swear she got more ammo than Leon did. Oh, sorry. Machine control panel. There's a keyhole there. A factory. The factory manager schedule is written here. It doesn't look like it's been used in a while. Okay. I know we're running a little long, but uh, but I'll play a little bit longer just because to make up for that like two or three minute backtracking I did early to go through Leon's Leon's area. So, but I usually usually uh, with this run I have a pretty good ideas of where I want to stop um, just to take like a quick break that type of thing. Anyway, if we check over here, get some bullets. Even though I just dropped those off, great. Okay. I think there should be a map here. Yep. Map. Map. And we need to find a key to reset. Yeah, see, Leon had to worry. Got the, the tram here and went on ahead, so now we have to go back here. And for those who played Resident Evil Zero, uh, this place looks familiar, although it was obviously introduced here first. But if you play Resident Evil Zero, it takes us here for some weird reason. I don't know why. I know. But anyway. And I think here there were hunters, too, so. <laughs> oh, man. But luckily, nothing else will be here, right? Right. Oh, there's a key there. Nice. Let's grab that. And, uh, huh, what are those? Yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> Nuts. Here he comes. Yeah, we have to fight. We have to fight Mr. X himself, so. Let's see if we can do this without taking too much damage. He might get a punch on me! Woo, boy. Okay. Sometimes we can get lucky and like take like no damage from him, but uh, let's see if I can kill him before he punches me. Ah, oh, he got a punch in on me. Oh well. I was trying to do it without taking any damage, period, but oh well. I suck. Whew. Take that, you son of a bitch. Anyway, get some acid rounds. Usually it's not worth killing him, but the fact I'm trading basically grenade rounds for acid rounds is actually a much better endeavor in this part. So, Oh yeah, we got the key, which is... Uh, let's check it out. A key to activate the control panel. The letter U is engraved. Yeah, Mr. Mr. X thought... Actually, did we ever get... I know why he's... Well, I know his name, but I don't know if the game ever straight up tells us what his name actually is. He just keeps chasing us. I know they, I think in Resident Evil the Remake, they tell us his name is Mr. X. Maybe there is a notice and I've forgotten about that, like where it actually says, hey, um, this is what the, this guy's name is. I know we read a report about it, but hey, Sherry, I just beat a guy, so it's cool. Anyway, he's a key here. Okay, Sherry, let's go. All right, it's time to go. But where will we go? What will the secret lab have for us? Will we be able to save Sherry, relocate Leon, and defeat um, well, you know, William Birkin once and for all? Find out next time in the fi finale of Resident Evil 2, Claire's Path. 
I don't know if it'll be one episode. I might split, depending on how long it takes me to go through the uh, laboratory. I know it took me a few episodes when I was at Leon, but now that I'm a bit more aware with Claire, it's a bit different. But either way, we'll see you then. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.